Welcome back to my channel. I am Kate and Singer, and I'm so excited that you're here and really excited to finally share some news with you. I am so pumped to be sharing this with you. I hope that you will come along on our journey. I hope that you will subscribe and like this video. Every single like is free. Every single comment is free, but it helps me so much and it helps me make my dreams come true and it improves my life, my kids' life all the things you are so supportive and I am so grateful for every single one of you. So I'm literally sitting here at my in-laws house in this front bedroom and the bed isn't even made and just working a little bit and going to let you guys in on some news. So today was a work day for me. I came up to the city and my mother-in-law is watching the four kids while I had a bit of a work day and I say day but it's literally from like 10 to 2 ish um so it's 1 25 right now but I decided to kind of just like let you guys in so much has been going on you know I've been saying that on social media for like almost a month now because there's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes and I am finally ready to let you in because things have been moving forward. Things have been uh, finalizing and making progress. And the big news is that we are moving. We are selling the farm and moving somewhere, <laughs> which I will fill you in on that in a second. But just a little bit of background on all the farm stuff. So when we moved from the city out to the country, we moved like 45 minutes. I've said that a billion times, but we moved away from family and moved away from like living not in a neighborhood, I would say, but sort of in a neighborhood. Like we had one acre, all, everyone around us had an acre, but you're like, you're fairly close. You know, like there's a street, you can ride your bikes, you can, you know, go to the neighbor's house and whatever. There are neighbor friends. Well, in the country, we do not have that. But the main reason, funny, that we moved from the one acre place to the country was because we got a complaint about our chickens which I guess technically our property is less than one acre. So you are not technically allowed to have chickens, but none of the neighbors cared. Everyone loved it. Everyone loved the chickens. Um, but someone basically when they let us know, they were like, Hey, this is a complaint based department. So like someone complained and I was like, okay, who complained? Cause if it's one of my neighbors, like I'm coming for them wasn't a neighbor it was some rando who drove by and was like hey I think I see chickens in her yard and so we got a call we got a letter we were like yeah, we're out of here like we are leaving <laughs> so we moved to the country okay so we got cows we got nine acres we have like 30 chickens now it's amazing um we have a, like a big farmhouse it's gorgeous but my husband's in the military and a little bit of background about that is that he right now is active duty. He was in the reserves for a while. He was active duty, then he was in the, in the reserves and now he's active duty again and he could potentially go back to the reserves, but if he does that, he he's the guy who's been working on mobilizations he feels that he's going to get tagged for a mobilization which means going away from the family for a year and i am not about that life <laughs> i'm not about my kids not having a dad for a year and that's just not even an option for us honestly so you know we were like what's the other option and the other option is to stay active duty and move all of us together so we are moving and we're selling the farm which is honestly pr pretty sad <laughs> i i thought we would be there a lot longer um 
but it didn't work out that way. And God has a plan, so I, I'm trying to accept it with grace. I'm trying to not uh, let it like totally derail me because the plan was to have a farm, right? The plan was to have the animals and have the farmhouse, have the space, have the land. Um, that was all the plan. <laughs> but the plan has apparently changed and that's okay. And I just have to have faith that God has a better plan for us, a bigger plan. And as a military family, honestly, we are always like expecting surprises. But when we bought this farmhouse, I really didn't think like so naive. I really didn't think there were more surprises on the way. I thought like, oh my gosh, we're like settling a little bit. This is going to be great for the kids. And the military was like, just kidding. No. <laughs> so we are moving and we're doing a military move. When we were away last week, we were actually scouting out the area and getting a feel for it and actually even touring some houses because it's going to be a very quick turnaround time. You know, sometimes when people announce that they're moving, it's like, I'm moving in six months or I'm moving in three months or it's very just like whenever I want to. No, when you're moving with a military, it is like you're moving <laughs> and it's happening now. <laughs> so we kind of knew that this was in the cards for us for the last probably two months or so, uh, maybe even like three-ish months, but um, it didn't really feel too real until we went and visited the area and we started to look at like kids ballet and kids, all the stuff, like trying to scout out which studio we'd go to, which gym we'd go to, um, choosing a house, like literally, like scouting out neighborhoods and stuff is so crazy to say out loud because I did not think this would be happening. <laughs> it is very much a surprise, but I used to be such a planner and the military really like beat that out of me. <laughs> I think that was like God's way of like, you can't control this. You can't control everything. You can't control your life. I'm in control of your life. You have to trust me. You have to lean on me and you have to just have faith and believe that I had the best plan for you. And I have been very at peace about it. Um, I, not that it's not sad, but I've been very at peace about the fact that we are moving and the fact that it's going to be a change and all of that. Like, I'm okay with that. It's just like, was not the plan. So all of that to say, we are moving to Northern Virginia and it's going to be in the Fredericksburg area. So about an hour outside of DC. When we went to visit, it was adorable, so cute. Um, I can put some of the pictures here, but if you haven't watched my vlog yet about that week. I'm also going to link that for you up in the corner. Um, it, it's just so cute. Like it's old school, but very lively. The city is very lively. Like there were people of all ages out, you know, basically all day. There have been some cities that we've gone to that like, you don't ever see any kids. And it's very weird. Like almost like people don't like kids or people aren't comfortable taking their kids out well we take our kids out all the time so it's very important to us that like people are okay with kids being out and okay with kids going out to restaurants and walking in the streets like not in the street but like on the street downtown like people are okay with kids and there were a lot of kids a lot of kids shops which was really cute just makes you feel like more comfortable so we did tour six houses, maybe five. I'm going to do a whole vlog on that as well. Like come house hunting with me because I, I saved all of those videos for you. And I'm going to tell you exactly like our impressions. And we have officially put an offer in on a house and I'm not going to share which one it is because obviously things are so up in the air right now. Um, you can put an offer in on a house like 15 times and not one of them will pan out, you know? So I'm not going to share exactly which one we put an offer in on, but, um, just for a little bit of context, we do have an offer in on a house. 
that we love and we love the community we love the neighborhood but mom's a word okay <laughs> so stay tuned on what happens there i'm really excited um, if that does end up being our house because it, it does have like a neighborhood for the kids to play in like a lot of kids in the neighborhood which should be really fun for the kids that was one thing that my oldest said she was like i don't care where we go i just want it to be in a neighborhood I'm like okay i will work on that for you <laughs> so we homeschool our four kids and which only the oldest two are old enough for school but um, we homeschool them and so like having great neighbors, having great co-ops, having great programs and like sports and stuff is very important to us since they're not going to public school. Um, having a lot of things to do, even for me, like to get out of the house, like the city is great. There's parks, there's all kinds of things to do. That's really important for me too. So yeah, we are moving and it's unexpected, but we are going to go with it and God has a plan and I feel good about it. I'm accepting it with grace. Like I had a, a jaunt of like lots of anxiety a couple weeks ago, probably like right before we went to the city, which is one reason that we wanted to go because like I just needed to put my eyeballs on it and get comfortable with it and feel good taking my kids there, you know? So I had like some anxiety there until I got to see it. I just felt like, okay. This feels good. I feel at peace. Like I had a couple weeks where everyone was texting me, everyone and their mother, like my current homeschool co-op, the ballet, it was like time to pay some fee. And then um, gymnastics, like Grayson got called up to the team and it's like, oh my gosh, all this stuff is happening, but I know that we're moving. Like I don't want to continue to push all these things when I know that we're moving, I don't want to pay all these fees because I know that we're moving. It's just like all the things. So anyway, all of that to say, the kids are conti going to continue to do everything they're doing up until we leave. I've talked to everyone about that. Um, and they're really excited. Honestly, they're excited for a new adventure. They're excited for um, new friends and a new place. And we've told them a couple things about the house, but we told him like, don't, don't get too attached. You know, like we've told him just a few small things, but said like, we're not sure that that's going to be our house or whatever. So I will keep you updated on whether our offer is accepted or not. There was one other offer on the house, um, but they said it was pretty low. So pray with us that that is something that happens for us. So anyway, yeah, it's kind of crazy kind of crazy but God has a plan so we have been working tirelessly on house projects and all kinds of stuff to finish up um, in this kitchen everything this countertop I sanded down it was like a very like orange finish on it um, sanded this down as one of our final steps and then all of these were still the original brown color, which you can see on the inside because I did not paint the inside of the cabinets. I know all my real estate friends are like, you idiot, you have to paint the inside. <laughs> Put the final coat on of the cabinets and they look great, like super shiny, um, looks really good. But we've been working on projects for like three days, my nails are covered in paint. Actually, they don't even look that bad right now, but they're covered in paint and cleaning like crazy too. I've been decluttering stuff. So you saw me start to declutter some of the stuff in this room. Of course, now it's dark because it's nighttime, but this is where like all of the kids' toys are and stuff. So I decluttered that. I also decluttered in the laundry room, which I can show you. Um, this was fairly full of stuff, but I kind of like, I'll set that back up, but I kind of like organized it. This had tons of coats here. So I took all the coats out to make it feel bigger. And then I'm gonna organize up here just a little bit, nothing crazy, kind of take stuff down. Like these, this is a bunch of flight suits. So I don't need, we don't need flight suits. So it's like kid crafts and 
just a bunch of stuff that can be taken and put in the basement and get ready to go with us. So this is the master bathroom. The color looks a lot lighter just because the, the lighting, um, but it's definitely like this dark color. So this is way more accurate to the color, but we did paint in here because when we moved in this bathroom, so the ceiling was like halfway painted white and halfway like old white. I don't, I don't know who would do that. And then like two of the walls were one color and two of the walls were another color, but not in a good way, in a bad way. <laughs> so we did repaint this room just to make it feel more finished. I, I think there's a lot of things that we could have done, but it would not have given us the return. Like I really wanted to change this light, really wanted to put a new big mirror up, but that didn't happen and that's okay. My perfectionist self has to be okay with it. And I know that it will not change what we get for the house if I did or didn't change that light fixture. And I have to keep telling myself that. I talked a little bit in my private podcast about energy exchange and the amount of energy that I exchanged putting up a new light was not going to come back to me. That energy was not going to be returned to me. Even if it's in the form of dollars, that, that was not going to give me any return, spending the energy figuring out that light fixture. So no, I said no to that. So I'm having a bit of an emotional moment as we are talking about getting the um, chickens to their new home and it's very sad. It's very sad for me. You know, they've been super, they've been really good to us and we've taken care of them. We literally moved to this house for them. Like we are living here because of the chickens. Like I am very thankful to them uh, for, for showing us kind of like this lifestyle and just for being good. I don't know. There's no other way to say it without like totally crying. So definitely going to have to have, I told my husband, I'm going to have, have to have the kids away while, um, this girl, she's going to take all of them, which is great. <clears throat> Excuse me. She's going to take all of them, which is great. And including all the roosters which is good because a lot of people only want the hens and she has a way to transport them they what they're gonna get to free range so they're gonna have the best life possible which is great but the place we're going is not going to allow us to have chickens and that's gonna be quite an adjustment <laughs> it's gonna be quite an adjustment so all the things that you see me vlogging in the morning like going out to feed the chickens and all that kind of stuff is going to be very different. So anyway, just having a little like ugh, emotional anxiety moment of having to get rid of the chickens. Getting rid of the cows was a little bit easier because we hadn't had them as long and we knew he was gonna serve a purpose and we knew that she went to a great home so I wasn't as emotionally connected to them as I am to the chickens, apparently. Hold me! I will hold you. Screw. So I thought I would show you in the daylight how far this kitchen has come. I wish I had a video of before, but I have a picture of before that I can show you. It was just like very dark. The cabinets were like this weird tan color, just like super dated. The cabinets were so junky. But look how gorgeous she is. Oh my gosh, guys, I worked so hard on this kitchen. I cannot even explain it to you. So hard, so many hours. <laughs> So much work and it has finally been completed. I'm 
Actually, let me get you a shot with the... Oh, isn't she beautiful? I love her so much. And she's clean. I noticed that the way that my hair is, is my whole entire mood. So like, how do you wear your hair at home if it's not in this weird top knot? Riddle me that. It's funny how the house becomes exactly what you envisioned as you're moving. It becomes perfect just as we're moving. So now none of my content is going to be farm content. We, since we are getting rid of all the animals and selling the farm and it's basically going back to suburbia. <laughs> so I would love it if you would still follow along. I know it's going to be a different style of content, but hopefully you guys will still enjoy it and you'll stick with me through all the changes. Military life is crazy, y'all. It's crazy.